Still seeing some of that smoke. That's one of the reasons why temperatures will actually stay a little bit cooler today. That, along with a cold front, means temperatures will top out in the 80s instead of the 90s for the metro area today. Andrea, we'll talk more about that in a moment. We do have another air quality alert for the western slope. This is Rio Blanco and Garfield and Mesa counties out that way. We still have the Pine uh, Gulch fire that continues to burn north of Grand Junction, more than 25,000 acres in size, and some of that smoke is definitely making its way east, although overall less smoke making its way all the way over to the Front Range today compared to uh, at times over the weekend. You can see in Vail, the top of Blue Sky Basin, definitely hazy there with smoke in the distance. The top of the Zuma chair at the Arapahoe Basin ski area uh, near Summit County, looking to the west there, definitely hazy. And you can see the haze we have over the metro area as well. That said, according to the Department of Health, we just have moderate bad air quality, so it's not that bad today compared to where we were over the weekend. Poor visibility and no alerts in effect. Ronald, our weather watcher on the southwest side of Lakewood, reporting 79 degrees right now. We have uh, 75 here at CBS 4 downtown, and I don't think we'll do any better than the mid to upper 80s. And the combination of some cooler air moving in from Nebraska, Lotus, notice Sydney, only 82, 82 today in Ogallala as well. The combination of that cooler air coming in from the northeast and the smoke, means it's going to be a struggle to even climb this high. Some of us may stay below what these temperatures indicate. Now, the cold front hasn't made its way to southern Colorado, so we'll still be in the 90s there, and unfortunately still in the 90s out west where firefighters are battling that fire. No real weather relief for them. Temperatures tomorrow start to warm right back up. It's only a one-day cool down. We'll be back into the 90s in the metro area coming up tomorrow. Earlier in the newscast, we were talking about the dry microburst that hit the Lyman Airport this morning, did some damage. What's left of those thunderstorms now in Kansas? We did have a severe thunderstorm warning earlier. It looks like that's been uh, canceled or allowed to expire. There's the cold front only if affecting the northeast quadrant of Colorado. So it's Denver to the north and to the east. Those are the only areas impacted by this front. Tomorrow the front shifts on out to the east of us. We start to see a southwesterly flow develop again, and that's why temperatures will rebound very quickly with temps back in the 90s for highs in the metro area tomorrow. And it looks like we'll stay in the 90s for the foreseeable future through at least the weekend into early next week. So, yeah, we got another at least five to seven day stretch with temperatures in the 90s. Big summer heat ahead of us. Future cast here five o'clock today showing a few showers and 20% chance for a few showers or a thunderstorm in the mountains. And after 4 or 5 p.m., we can't rule out a shower or storm along the Front Range. I think there's a little better chance for a few storms surviving in far northeast Colorado compared to Metro Denver. But we are going to leave a 10% chance in for a stray late-day thunderstorm here today. Again, after 4 or 5 p.m., probably more wind than rain. With any of those storms, we're not expecting any more dry microbursts like what happened in Lyman. Tomorrow up to 93, another small chance for a late-day shower or storm. And then just hot, 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 Andrea. On Thursday, we could hit 97. The record is 99. So we're going to be close to record territory again at the end of this week. All right, Ashton, thank you so much.